Hi everyone, Maria Thurlow here with United Country Lifestyle Properties in Maine. Today I am at 23 Dumphy Road in Sebec. If you guys follow my videos, you will probably remember that I did a video on 25 Dumphy Road and 26 Dumphy Road. Those two have recently sold and now we are at 23 Dumphy Road. Let's go in and take a look at what this camp has to offer. As you enter the camp, you will see this little entry area here. They have a bench here um, with storage inside, a place to put your shoes, hang your coats. And off here is the first bedroom. It has two twin beds in here, and those will stay with the property. In this bedroom, this has been recently redone. You can see the nice tongue and groove pine on the walls. It has a nice new ceiling fan, a new window. Right now they have two twin beds in here and two dressers and still plenty of room. You could put a easily put a queen size bed in this room if you choose to. As you come around the corner, you enter the nice big open living space. You'll see this leads into the kitchen as well. So you have open kitchen with eat-in dining area and nice big living room, plenty of space here to entertain. This camp does have lake drawn water. It does not have a well, but it is one acre of land. So you probably could add a well if you choose to. Off from the main living space, you will find the second bedroom. As you can see, they have a full size bed in here couple nightstands, dresser, all, still plenty of room. This has also been redone with tongue and groove pine, a new ceiling fan, and a new window. Off the main living area near the kitchen, you'll find the, the full bath. You have the toilet sink with plenty of counter space, tub and shower combo, and lots of built-ins here for storage. Off the other side of the main living space facing the lake, you'll find this beautiful sunroom. This is definitely my favorite area. All new windows here facing the lake. They also have a couch here that pulls out into a sofa bed, which will stay. And this is where you will walk out onto the deck as well. I'm now standing out on the deck that looks out onto the lake. It's a beautiful view from here. It'd be great to sit out here and drink your morning coffee. There is a patio set that does not convey with the property. They are going to keep that. But one cool feature about this, they have this gate that's built in here to keep in pets, children, whatever. And this has stairs that go down to the ground from here. I'm now standing on at one side of the camp. This is where the stairs come down from the deck. We also came down a few steps behind the shed and right there is where the septic holding tank is located. And one really cool feature about this property is a walkout. It's not technically a basement, but a walkout space. They have it all boarded in on the sides. They have crushed rock in there. They have a nice wooden platform on part under part of it. Under here is where you'll find the hot water heater and hot water tank for the lake drawn water and tons of storage space for canoes, kayaks, building material, anything you wanna put in there. So we are now out again behind the camp. I just wanted to show you a little bit about the land. The land that the camp sits on is approximately four tenths of an acre. And there's a second parcel across where you drive in, which is a right away to the other properties. And on the other side, there's approximately another six tenths of an acre to make it plus or minus one acre of land. And I also wanted to show you this storage shed that also comes with the property while we're out here. A nice new shed, plenty of storage in there. I am now standing out in front of the camp facing the lake. As you can see, we have a nice big fire pit here, nice seating around it. These seats do not actually convey with the property. They are, belong to the owner and they are sentimental and they want to take them. But as you can see, we have this beautiful lakefront here, 66 feet of water frontage and the dock and the swim float also stay with the property. I'm now standing down on the dock and as you can see from here, the beautiful view of this property. Um, there's actually a loon swimming over there. There's tons of wildlife here on the, on the pond. Garland Pond is a small pond, but a deep water pond. Just a reminder, there are no boat motors allowed on this lake. Sebec Lake though is only a few miles away if you wanted to trailer a boat over there for the day. We're close to Dover Foxcroft, which offers, you know, grocery shopping, a hospital, all of the, the major things you would need. 
Peaks Kenny State Park is located close by and we're only just over an hour from Baxter State Park if you want to um, hike for the day, whitewater raft, etc. Just to recap, this is a two bed, one bath camp. It has a beautiful sunroom on it as well. The asking price for this property is $235,000. The taxes on the property are $1,316 per year and it's approximately 800 square feet. If you would like more information on this property, you can give me a call at 207-403-3724. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications button on our YouTube channel to get all of our current listings.